Hello and welcome back to HTML email design and development. In this video, I want to give you a quick introduction to the course, give you an idea of what we'll be creating, and give you a few ideas of what you have to look forward to. Uh, this is the email that we're going to be designing for the first half of this course in Photoshop. If we zoom in a little bit, we can see it a little bit better. We're designing an email for a fictional company called Pete's Pizza Pavilion. It's just a simple advertisement that they would send out saying, hey, Thursday night is ninja night, so make sure to come dressed up like a ninja and get a discount on your pizza. So it's a very simple design, uh, and we're going to discover as we move into the second half of the series that even though the design is simple, the HTML is going to be a little bit more complicated than you might be used to if you're used to designing for the web. And the reason for that, which we'll discuss in great detail uh, throughout the course of the series, is that no two email clients really parse your HTML the same way. Email clients don't really subscribe to the same standards that browsers do. Uh, so each one has its own little quirks and it's very difficult to know how your email is going to look. So what we have to do is basically dumb it down a little bit. So once we get into the HTML for this email, we're going to discover that we're going to have to take our HTML skills back about 10 years. And we're going to have to forget about using CSS to lay out our designs. Instead of CSS, we're going to go back to using tables. So we'll be using tables and table cells to lay out our design in HTML. Uh, but again, this is a pretty simple design. Uh, and we're going to talk about some very common quirks that you'll find when using HTML uh, with email. So thank you so much for watching, and in the next video, we'll get started designing our email in Photoshop. 